And, and when you have corporations who somehow, magically, in 1895, it's assumed a sort of personhood, they have actually assumed a position in our society which is superior to any of us as individuals. How did that happen? You know, there's been this hue and cry, this craziness about the land, about, about the, the president's birth certificate. Well, I've got another thing I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about the corporation's birth certificates. <laughs> as a government where a corporation performs in a way that's against the public interest, why you can't just punch their license to do business and say, you're out of here, you're done. You cheated the public, you lied, you stole from your shareholders, you lied you, and, and you have, have created havoc in markets, you're done. Yes. Now, <laughs> so, it's not as though we still cannot get control of the levers of government. But we have to have a determination from the top of our government at, and at every level to say, look, uh, this is the time we have to change. And that's where you come in. And this is such a terrific act of this community. And it's not just about your member of Congress who does an excellent job, but it's about all of the people in this delegation. It's about anybody you can pick up a phone and call anywhere in the country to encourage them to start to take more progressive stands on issues. I think the Democratic Party can be reclaimed by the, the people of this country. But it's really going to take a concerted effort on the part of the grassroots, not just to send emails and write letters, but to go visit and to, and to come up with meetings and communities where we come up with an agenda and say, this is what we want. Not just politicians coming to you and saying, this is what you're going to get.